Yo, what is going on, guys? Today I have 20 Mega Packs. These are all different. Sadly, this is not a live commentary because I didn't have the time to do them at the time, which is a nice run-on of a sentence, but these are all different packs. These are all Mega Packs, but they're all different. Some are the Stanley Cup Edition Mega Packs. Some are rare Mega Packs. Some are just regular Mega Packs. There's just a lot of Mega Packs in here, and I probably had about 40 or 35 Mega Packs to upload, and I decided to just put together 20 of them. Some good, some alright, but I decided to just throw it together in a shorter thing, and sadly that was not a live commentary, because I was going to do live commentary for it, for, because two of the pack openings I did were live commentaries, but it was like 10 minutes for one of them and 8 for the other, and I was going to mash them together, but I did not want to put an hour-long video of random mega packs up, especially since they are a few days old, so I just decided to chop everything up, edit it together, and throw together the 20 mega packs that I did open, and again, these are all different. They came out probably within two weeks span of each other. So, sorry for that. So, it might be confusing. Some of these players might be like, whoa, why didn't you get his Stanley Cup mission card or this or that? But that is because I opened these a week ago, you know, something around there. Anyway, as you can see in the first few that we opened, we've got some pretty good consumables. But player-wise, we did not get anything so far. Verbata is not the type of card we want. He's not that... Uh, that Sidney Crosby, but these 15 durations are the Sidney Crosby's of consumables, so we will take those for sure. Anyways, what do you guys think of the playoffs? I mean, some of the things that happened, some of the seeds that went on, kind of were shocking. Many people had Vancouver winning. Personally, I thought that would have been a really even series. I picked Vancouver in 7. It was Calgary in 6, but I could have seen Calgary winning in 7, but they did it in 6, so good on them. The Rangers, I sadly, I saw them winning in 5, and I actually got that right. But the Penguins did lose three in overtime, so it was a lot closer than it actually showed up. Winnipeg, uh, I thought they were going to win one game. They ended up winning zero. They played pretty good, but they didn't get any wins, so Ducks get the, the sweep on them. We got a Mike Bossy here, so he's our best pull so far player-wise. He's worth around 30,000 coins and 92 overall legend cards, so that's always cool. So there's our good player. Vanek's a pretty good player, but not really worth much. Anyway, another series to talk about is... Uh, I'm trying to think of which ones that I really want to talk about. I mean, Habs were up 3-0, now it's 3-2. At the time of this video, it might be 3-3 because this video will probably be up either the next day, which the Habs play today, or the Habs are going to go on to the next round. I hope Senators win. Anyway, we'll go through each series real quick. So, the Blues and the Wild, I had the Blues winning in 7. I would rather have the Wild win, and at the moment, they have a 3-2 lead. The Hawks won in 6 games. I thought Nashville's going to win in 7. Again, I had the Ducks winning in five. They won in four, so I was close there. Vancouver lost in six. I had Calgary. I had Calgary losing in seven. Montreal is up three-two at the moment. They play again tonight. Tampa Bay is down three-two. I had them winning the cup actually. So if they lose the next game, they are out. Sadly, Rangers won in five, which I actually guessed that completely right. And right now, Capitals and Islanders are tied three-three. I had Capitals winning in seven, and I hope they win because right now, well, they are my favorite team. Besides the Devils, so they're my second favorite team. I don't know why I said they are my favorite team. But yeah, I want the Capitals to win the Cup. I don't know if they're if they're going to be able to, to be honest. I don't even know if they'll be able to beat the Islanders. They have a good team, but I think there's still one or two things here and there that they can improve on to be a much more elite team and possibly win the Cup in the near future. But they need to do that soon because some of their players are getting older and I don't know, they just they keep making the playoffs each year. Well, past few years, like two years, three years, it's been on and off, but... They'll make it, and they just lose in the first round all the time, sadly. So they need to get that extra push to move on. And we see there we got an Eric Carlson worth 30,000 coins. So that's a, another good pull for us. Again, nothing too crazy. And again, I opened around 40 packs, so I cut out about 20 to 25 of them because I did not pull anything good in them. So these are the better ones. Still not that amazing, if you ask me. The rare, the mega packs, in my opinion, this year have not been really good for me at all the player premium packs are my favorite because you know you just get players so no more edmonton oiler change teams <laughs> there's ryan miller so an 89 overall we got a few 89s 88s 90 overall cards nothing too amazing in value but still pretty good cards back to back ryan millers that is always pretty cool four thousand coins each way so nothing too crazy there we got a few change t uh change arenas which sadly they say they go for kind of a lot but i can never end up selling them sadly so not really sure how excited I was to pull that. This pack, we're coming to an end. This pack is, is uh, I mean, Biznet is, uh, he's not Crosby. I, I'll say that, but I mean, the five all is close to Crosby. If you add a few of those, the three or four of those to him, maybe he will be close to Crosby. 
We get a Team of the Week stone, which will tell you how old this video is, well, these pack openings are. I'm not sure. I think that was last week. Depends when this comes out. I think that was last week. So we get him. I think that's our first Team of the Week for this episode. That's pretty cool. I ended up selling him for like 10 point. I don't even remember what I ended up selling him. I never got to try him out, but he's probably pretty good. But at an 81 overall, I don't really see him fitting on my team. Our ninth Horvat, so we'll throw him uh, everywhere. I'll make a full team of Horvats. We got Eric Stahl, another 89 overall. Not really worth much, but we'll take him anyway just to make this pack opening a bit better. And for the last one, we get Fiddler because, you know, obviously you have to end it off with a Fiddler to make sure the episode is good or it is a pack opening of NHL. We get Shaw, Smid, Boyle. We got like 10 Boyles and 89 overall Joe Thornton. Pretty good card, but again, not worth much. That is it for this pack opening. I'm sorry it's not a live commentary, but I did not want to throw together an hour-long video, and two of these pack opening videos did not have live commentary, and two of them did, and it was just going to be a mix, and I didn't want to just throw out some of the pack openings, because I've got the bossy and the non-live commentary one, so he was one of my only good pulls this episode, so again, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this somehow. If you did, please leave a like. I want to know what you got in any of these pack openings, if you want to leave a comment, or if you just want to say what your best pack has been, because I know some people have pulled some crazy stuff, like three amazing cards in one pack, so I'd always want to know that. Anyway, guys, who do you have winning the cup, and I will see you guys next episode.